The city of Juarez is a charming Mexican town that offers fine dining, interesting attractions, and great shopping opportunities. The city of Juarez is a stone's throw from the U.S. border and has a population of almost 2 million working people, both men and women. Sure, except the number of women is dwindling. There are less and less of them every year and every day. If you've ever been to Mexico, see the Juarez. We hope you'll come with it one day. Hurry up so, if you still want to see any woman around. In Ciudad Juarez, you can find a wide variety of Mexican items, including leather boots, traditional clothing, silver and Turkish jewelry, exotic fruits and vegetables, and much more. But you won't see any girls, just a lot of pink crosses, a forest of wooden crosses painted pink, one large missing woman, Come on, what a big deal, just 5,000 murdered or disappearances disappeared women in the last 20 years. This is a world record, and it's held by Ciudad de Juarez. Sure, you have to give or take a few. The figures aren't completely accurate. Many of these women are buried out in the desert or are melted in ice. Their bodies never found. Some might have been handed over to the Los Rojas red light industry for radio sexuales snuff movies or sold to some Yankee who could afford to pay cares for fresh meat. The one natural resource that's still a burden around here. In Juarez, the life of poor women is worth less than, less than a pound of potatoes. Terrorist agencies can't advertise the attraction, of course. The authorities wouldn't allow it, don't want, to don't, don't want the town to get a bad reputation with foreign terrorists visiting the country. After all, it's only women's flesh and blood we are talking about. Mass slaughter, a genocide of young women, little girls, workers, housewives, students, and poets like me. That's all. Blood of my own, blood of sunrise, blood of broken moon, blood of silence. We can still turn to our families, sure, but for us home is the most dangerous place of all. Older women blame us to the factories that opened up near the U.S. border, allowing women to finally start working too. They turn out to be the ideal workers for the maquiladoras fast assembly lines, producing sophisticated hi-fi equipment for the rich. With their quick, slender fingers, teenage girls work non-stop putting together the latest technological wonders. Flat panel TV screens, smartphones, Toshiba, Philips, Samsung, Sony, Panasonic, They've all moved their plants out here because a woman's work is valued the same as her life, less than the price of a pound of potatoes. And in the eyes of our men, working women are nothing but wars. They can't see any difference between women who sell their labor and women who sell their bodies. The assembly workers earn money, take buses on their own, support their families, and pay for their husbands' drink fingers. It's just too humiliating for their men to let them stay alive. Anyway, the government doesn't have to time to deal with this kind of thing, and neither do the police. They have more important matters to worry about, with the use of seeking justice. Nobody ever gets indicted anyway. Sea of my abyss, blood, painful moment of my birth, nourished by my last appearance. The youngest was 15, the oldest 40, like Marisela. I saw a limp, defenseless body laid out like a flower in front of the worker house where she denounced her daughter's murderer. They let him off the hook right away. Lack of evidence, they said. Marzella was the last victim in 2010, number 446 to be exact. Ni una mujer más, not one woman more. Great slogan, right? I saw it up. Ni una mujer más, I cried out that knowing I would be next, I was the first to be murdered in 2011. I'd gone out to meet my girlfriends <clears throat> that night, didn't even bring my purse. They found me five days later, in the middle of the street, half naked, my left hand chopped off, my head stuffed inside the black garbage bag. I love this town of mine to the very end. I stayed, never ran away, even so I could smell blood in the air, feel what was coming. Blood, of blood clear and definite, fertile seed, blood the unbelievable journey, blood as its own liberation, blood river of my songs. My mother, had, my mother had my body laid out in the room where I used to write. 
my left hand restored to its rightful place, she entwined a rosal between my fingers and scattered the pages of my blood-soaked poem inside the coffin, close to me. Blood of, blood of silence jumping into nothingness, blood, painful moments of my birth, nourished by my last appearance. <laughs>